what's up YouTube? I'm Mark from One Resource. Um, time for another collection update. I got a pretty big stack of CDs to show you. Um, I've got 15 CDs here in front of me. So um, this probably won't be a short one. Uh, sorry for that, but um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, cup of coffee here. Um, what we are spinning in the background is Chamber of Unlight with Realm of the Night and there's some really cool black metal. Um, I haven't spun this in a while but I thought let's give it another try. Uh, this is fantastic stuff. Um, I said as far as I can remember this is really good stuff. It's been a while but um, yeah it's a free piece as you guys can see. Um, really good stuff. Pick this up back in the day at New Era, I think, and um, yeah, I really enjoy it. Good stuff. Chamber of Unlight with uh, Realm of the Night. Really great black metal here. Yeah. So, um, I have some things I bought just on regular online stores, and I bought stuff from Discogs. Um, the Discogs stuff is probably the most cheapest ones I bought but I thought um, yeah it was so it's a great release I thought I must have those that I turned a little bit down um, yeah fantastic stuff um, different kind of genres everywhere again so um, it's something for everyone let's start off with this stack um, the first one I bought from a seller in in the Netherlands, uh, this is uh, Grim with Ter Galge. Um, if you are not familiar with this, this is a um, um, black Viking folk metal band. Um, really, really good stuff. I think you're from the Netherlands, if I'm not mistaken, as well. Or is it Belgium? Somewhere in that thing. Um, anyways, um, this is the back. Really good stuff. I've got another uh, release from those guys. I've got uh, Action King and On Tape. Um, that was the release prior to this or after this one. Um, one of the two. Um, but fantastic stuff here. Great melodies, great folky medieval touch to their black metal. Um, really, really interesting stuff. And so I was really glad I picked this up for. Four bucks or something in a thing, four euros, five euros in that thing. So it's not really expensive. And I love the artwork, really like an old uh, painting from back in the day. Really cool. Definitely continue in that thing in the booklet as well. Fantastic. Really like the medie medieval imagery um, on this release. Uh, definitely fitting the. the atmosphere of the album and the music of course uh, really good stuff i'm really glad to pick this up uh, i was intending to pick another album up from this dude but um he didn't have it anymore sadly but um yeah so i only got this one but i'm not disappointed came came in good nick so um yeah good stuff grim with ter galge next up Free up, I bought from another seller also with this one. Um, this is a uh, Fate's Warning with uh, Parallels. This is the band's fourth album, if I'm not mistaken, maybe fifth, I don't know. This is from 1991, uh, probably fifth or something. Um, but uh, fantastic um, progressive metal. Um, if you're familiar with this band, you know what to expect. It's nothing like the early three albums that were more power metal. The band evolved with another singer. You know, you know, guys probably know the story when Ray Aller joined and John Art left. Um, yeah, the sound came pretty different, let's put it that way. Uh, still released on Metal Blade. CD. Really good stuff. Uh, this was really fun to listen to. Really nice adventure. Um, great stuff 
Hogi laughed, face warning. Great bands. And we have Ray Elder here. Great singer. If you if you're kind of similar to Jeff Tate, uh, kind of that kind of sort of voice, and then you get into you will like this. Um, great stuff. And this yeah, it's cool to have like an old old version like this. Um, yeah, great stuff. So uh, if you're doing the fake warning, this is definitely um, an album to check out. Uh, if, if you're not and you're still in progressive metal, um, definitely take a look into this band. Um, existing since the 80s, so there are veterans here. Uh, great stuff, they're still existing, I think a couple of years, two years back they released another new album. I still need to pick that one up actually, but um, yeah, nonetheless. Um, but I'm really enjoying this one at the moment, so uh, good stuff. From the same seller, I picked up um, Oceans of Sadness with Sands in the Clowns. This is a band from Belgium. Um, it's a really interesting band because they mix up genres pretty well. Um, there's, of course, some death metal, some black metal, uh, some progressive metal, even, and some goth. Uh, music uh, they mix it up really nicely the vocals are very versatile um, yeah that's the typical growling and screaming of course but there's also uh, a lot of good clean vocals um, fantastic singer um, what is the name dude's name uh, um, the thing Thijs van Vanessa Vanessa something like that it's the this dude here, fantastic singer. I have seen this little band live as well, and uh, back in the day in 2004, five somewhere in that era, fantastic live bands. I also have, have another album from them, Mirror Palace, which is also fantastic. Um, great release, and this is original press as well. So really glad to find an original press. Um, when this this came out, I don't know, 2004 on Apache. So yeah, great stuff. If you want something different, um, go check it out. Um, it's really uh, a really nice mixture of genres. Let's put it that way, and it's really interesting to hear. Great band. Last one from that seller is uh, from LG. Uh, LG, don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, with Lost, that's a fantastic album. This um, I can consider this progressive power metal somewhere in that thing. Uh, really, really good stuff. Uh, Dutch band. Um, this is the band's one of the earlier albums. I think it's still with the original singer. Um, what's this dude's name? Let's have a look. Novinga, Edward, Eddie, I don't know, somewhere that Novinga um, is still in there. This is the um, last one in the film on vocals, I think. The next one on from this band uh, had Ian Perry on vocals, which is also a phenomenal singer, by the way. Um, yeah, but really good stuff. I really enjoyed this. Great melodies, um, great twitch, uh, twisted and turns. Uh, a really fantastic. Uh, Essential power metal album, um, really good stuff. And this is the whole band here. I'm sorry for Leclerc, but it is what it is. Uh, more lyrics, of course. Um, I like the artwork as well. It looks phenomenal. Really fantastic uh, artwork. I've seen this artwork before and always loved it. And when I saw the seller headers, I, I listened to it a bit and I really enjoyed the sounds and I thought that's what it is. This was originally released in 1995, I see here, on Modern Invasion. So, uh, really good stuff. 
to check out LG if you are not familiar with these bands. Um, good stuff, definitely worth looking into. Then I got um, two CDs from a Dutch um, chain, probably Worldwide Records on Discogs. I picked up an old Satriani album, um, Flying in a Blue Dream. This was missing in my early days collection from this guy. Um, fantastic stuff, great uh, guitar shredding stuff, um, great melodies, um, really nice changes in the music, um, but still great rock music. Um, I always get, have to get used to his hair days, let's put it that way, because you know, know him as a bald man <laughs> with the sunglasses, you know, this is definitely a different era. But uh, the music on this is fantastic, this was released in 87 or something in the thing, I think, 88, 87, I don't know, somewhere in that era. And always when you try to look a year, you can find it. 87, I think it says here, Relativity Records. So, I was close there. <laughs> um, yeah. Band's Man's third album, I believe. So, um, great stuff. Nicely, I love the look of that guitar. Great stuff. Yeah. Good album, um, definitely have to give it more listens, but I gave it like three listens now and I uh, really enjoyed it. So yeah, Satriani, if you like your guitar, uh, Wizardry, of course, um, go check out this album. Then I have a rebot, and this is, um, why do I see this for first? It's kind of cracked in the case here. Hmm. Anyways, um, Eminence with a self-titled EP. Um, this is a band I um, got to know in halfway the 90s probably um, on a radio station. Later on I saw them in a local uh, youth center. Um, great, great band. This is a Brazilian band. Um, Freshy, groovy metal, let's put it that way. Uh, screaming vocals. Uh, this is definitely the most heavy area um, era. Sorry. Um, nowadays they have some clean vocals as well. They have a different singer and other members. I don't think. I only think their guitar player Alan Bello is still in the band, and the other ones are all still uh, all different members. But this is fantastic stuff. Uh, released in 1998, I think somewhere. Um, yeah, let's look at the inside. There are the tracks. I can still can remember those tracks like they were yesterday. Uh, favorite tracks are probably Faces, Rota, um, Body Bag, and Psychotic Slave a bit. Um, yeah, this is a fantastic EP. Um, seven tracks. A really promising band back in the day. Um, I also have their first album, and I used to have. One of the albums that came after that, um, the, four, uh, the third album I think, but I have got rid of those stuff back in the day. Um, so I'm glad to have this back in the collection, um, really good stuff if you like, things like Pantera, um, Sepultura Era, Chaos AD and stuff like that and you definitely will enjoy this, um, really good stuff. And then I got two things from a German seller on this box. Um, it took a bit longer to come in, but it only went five work days or something, so it's not really bad. Um, got a classic here from Gamma Ray, Land of the Free, an album I wanted to have for a long time. Uh, classic power metal, this is the band's fourth album. Um, Released in 95. Fantastic stuff here. Um, if you're familiar with Gamma Ray, then you know what to expect. Oh, that means the booklet. Booklet. Ah. Um, yeah. Fantastic power metal. You can't go wrong here. And this is the back with the beats. 
Great German uh, power metal. Um, led by Kai Hansen, which is, was back in the day an ex Halloween member. Um, of course, now he's back in Halloween. You know, the previous albums and singles from this dance until then. Um, yeah, fantastic stuff. Great power metal, great melodies, fast tempos. Um, you know how the drill is with this band. Um, and they try to mix it up with a bit uh, mid tempo songs and stuff like that. Um, it's a really fun album to listen to. I love the artwork, really, really fucking amazing. Um, I love it. This one better than the re uh, reissue, actually. So, yeah, I'm really glad to have an original version. Great stuff. I also picked up an album from Killing Joke. What? Killing Joke? That's, you know, 80s, post punky. Well, um, I have to say, I also like the kind of stuff a bit, but this is a way different album. This is Killing Joke with Pandemonium. If you are a metalhead and you want to get into Killing Joke, this is one of the starter albums to get into. I have to say, this is really heavy, a lot heavier than their 80s stuff. Um, this is more metal oriented, oriented. There's industrial in here, there's some golf rock in here. It's it's really heavy stuff um, compared to their 80s work, let's put it that way. Um, yeah, really different beast. Um, I think it was Matt from The Dark Path, which is a fantastic channel as well. Go check him out. Um, showed this um, when he was on his Killing Joke journey. Uh, he also did a deep dive uh, on this band with some other YouTubers and a stream as well, I think. But um, it's one of, sort of, one of the gateway albums if you're a metalhead and you want to get into Killing Joke. There was another one that came right after this one, I think. Um, this was released in 94. Yes, 94, Roth Red Records. Um, like I said, heavy more industrial metal vibe going on here on this album, so that's what intrigued me. Um, like I said, I like the 80 stuff, but this stuff is more my cup of tea. Um, really good stuff. The booklet looks kind of trippy here, it's really weird <laughs> stuff there going on. But that's okay. Um, yeah, really good stuff. Uh, a lot more uh, to say. Um, if you want to know bigger deal, bigger detail, let's go check out Matt's channel and uh, the deep dive he does with um, on metallurgy. Probably um, he did on this band with Marty Worm and Alan, I think probably, or I don't know if there was someone else with it at that point. Could be uh, Maze of Torment, I don't know. You just have to look that up and you see what I mean. Um, but yeah, fantastic um, release. I really enjoyed this. It's definitely an album I enjoy more than their 80s work. Um, yeah, good stuff. Candy Modium by Killing Joke. Damson old stuff I just bought regularly online. Um, all 80s and 90s stuff um, I bought on CD. Some are things that I bought back and some are just new to me. Um, this of course a revisit because I know this, I had this. And now it's back in the collection. This is the 10th, uh, 30th anniversary remaster. So the awesome bonus track on it. No, uh, um, I'm talking bullshit. I'm talking bullshit. This is just re uh, remastered stuff. You know, the whole album is remastered. I don't have to deal with some bullshit, of course. Um, but yeah, it still sounds great. Um, White Snake 1987. I think in the US it's just a self titled one. Um, still of the Night, great song. I love Bad Boys. Um, Straight for the Heart of Grey, Children of the Night, Crying in the Rain is fantastic, and of course, um, you can go around to Here I Go Again, you know, that's 
the big track on the together with the song the single is this love there are the two hits on this um great stuff got to have it back um yeah white snake you know it's a band that has need no needs no introduction um So yeah, really glad to have this back in the collection. 1987 album, of course. Otherwise, it wouldn't be 1987. Although Van Halen called the album 1984, uh, at least in 1983. So that's kind of weird. But um, anyways, um, White Snake. I also bought um, Love Hunter from White Snake, which is the 1979 album. Um, this one has bonus tracks. Of course, that's why I was a bit confused probably. Um, I love that artwork by the way, great stuff. Um, yeah, great album, I really enjoyed it, although this is straightforward hard rock, you know. Um, definitely, this album has a more bluesier feel of, and compared to the other album, with some more 80s hard rock heavy metal feel to it. Uh, that's the big difference to those, uh, those eras. Um, but yeah, fantastic singer David Coverdale, of course. Um, yeah, really nice in the issue. It is, of course. Um, but um, yeah, I don't mind the issues. Sometimes it's for the better, and sometimes, you know. And it comes with a pretty thick booklet as well. So they have done the job pretty well. Adding old images and stuff like that, um, liner notes. I kind of love when bands do that. They uh, upgrade their own artwork with this, this kind of stuff. Just use the original artwork and upgrade it with liner notes and, and pictures and stories and uh, lyrics and stuff like that. Um, I really enjoy that. Some of the older albums seems to have, like in the 70s, seems to have really thin booklets. So it's really cool that uh, labels think about this and um, work things out. Um, you know, like he said, uh, lyrics and stuff. You know, I, I found it really, really, uh, you know, giving giving something extra to uh, a reason to buy the reissues. Otherwise, if they didn't do this, I, I, I got the, the urge to buy the originals. I don't know what it is, but um, I love it when labels and bands do, like, do it like this. Like I said, using the original artwork in, in great form and then um, adding something extra to the booklet. Great stuff. And the bonus tracks are always bonus, you know, it's always fun. Also another reissue. Um, this is ZZ Top at Trey um, Third album from the band. Um, yeah, you know, a rock band from Texas. I uh, you know what it is. Um, these guys were so long busy. Um, this is the third album, like I said. This was released originally in 72 or something. I don't know. can see it somewhere of course when you want to know it then it's hard to find oh well I, I had, should have done my homework better to do something consider that but also upgraded artwork here picture your liner notes another picture more stuff and of course the credits and the picture. So really nice. Um, yeah, kind of bluesy at times. Um, definitely has that southern rocky feel here and there. Um, fantastic album, I have to say. Um, my favorites uh, probably is Beer Drinkers and Hell Racers. I love that track. We also have a really soft spot for La Grange, um, which was also featured on the game Guitar Hero. Um, fantastic tune, um, but nonetheless there are more great tracks on this, but that one stood out a bit to me. Um, but yeah, great stuff guys, and there are some bonus tracks as well, which are here. 
so hopefully he can make it out and see what the bonus tracks are so if you want a nice reissue from their old era this is definitely an album to look into this is a pretty good album um, fantastic stuff ZZ Top <sighs> Then we have another issue. I have a lot of issues lately. Um, Impact is eminent by Exodus from Great Press Metal. This is the 1990 album. Um, yeah, really have fun listening to this. Um, really good stuff. Not much to say about it except that it is decent thrash metal. But what can you expect from these veterans? back of the booklet let's have a look inside and there are lyrics I kind of find this one pointless just I should have added a bit of a picture or something like that but it's my opinion so yeah good reissue done by music on CD which is the Dutch label that also does music on vinyl um, but yeah, really nice press, good sound, good quality, I love the way that it looks. Um, yeah, great album. Impact is Eminence by Exodus. And about an old version, probably from uh, Scorpions, Crazy World. Yeah, everybody knows this. I don't have to point out what this is. Um, if I said send me an angel or um, wind of change, you probably know um, which album this is. We are the book, big uh, singles on this one. But there are more decent tracks on there. Tease me, please me is great. Um, to be in heaven, restless night, um, with between the eyes. You know, it's a bit of a decent album. And the lyrics and stuff like that, of course, in the booklet. And a nice back picture, I love that one. Like opening doors to other worlds, it looks like. Yeah, really nice concept there. And the back with that keyhole. Somebody watching, really not a far out artwork. Um, yeah, really good stuff. Scorpions with Crazy World. And then I got two left. Um, first one is Dagoba with By Night. Um, the band I did a reaction videos on, and this is the latest release, um, 2022 Napalm Records. Um, industrial. Groovy, death, gothy, metal. Um, what's funny is it also could be in the car fret. <laughs> um, anyways, um, fun album. I really enjoyed this. Um, if you're a fan of the earlier work, this is probably more get used to because it definitely has more um, a commercial edge to it, a more uh, poppy vibe. Um, yeah, here and there are some harsher vocals, um, just to give an extra punch probably, and the band didn't want to go full on, you know, uh, catchy probably, but the music on this are great, um, Neons, The Hunt, Sunfall, um, <sighs> Summer's Gone, The Last Crossing of course, my favorite still on the run on this, um, great stuff, um, I love the artwork, fantastic. Really well taken care of artwork here. Really, really nice pictures, and I uh, got a really nice photo editing to it. Um, yeah, really good stuff. 
Um, if you don't know what the band is, just give it a, a listen at my reaction videos and then you get a kind of an idea on the two songs uh, on the run and uh, Last Crossing. Maybe you get an idea how this album sounds. So, yeah, it was a fun listen. Great 2022 release. And the last one is a band that gets reactivated a bit. And this is, also, this is a 2021 release um, on Napalm Records as well. Uh, this is Dark Woods Might Be Filth with Angel of Carnage on Least. This is their newest album. Um, this band was active halfway the 90s. At uh, least in 96, 97, and 98, an album, I think. Um, black Metal, of course, from Finland, with Thomas Holopay uh, from Nightwish on keyboards. And back in the day, the dude was really young, around 16, 17, 18, in that era. So he was really young when he recorded those releases. Releases, but it's funny to see that this band has a resurrected. Probably had got some time left, um, and the band as well uh, during COVID, and thought, well, let's record another uh, Dark Woods Might Be Filth album. Um, symphonic black metal, uh, really, really good stuff. Um, aggressive uh, as well, and definitely has a soft spot for atmospheric parts. Um, yeah, really good stuff, I have to say. Um, I love the art of the, the keyboard work uh, of Tuomas um, on this album. Um, love the aggression. Um, good stuff. I love the artwork as well, it's really cool. It was also a really long time that I heard the first three albums, so it's a kind of get used to but I really got in pretty fast um, so here's the band and here's Tuomas um, yeah fantastic fantastic music on this album I, I wonder why I missed this last year but um, yeah finally got it um, yeah, great symphonic black metal, go check out Dark Woods, Might Be Throth, um, great band. So that's the update guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it a bit, it's, it's like I said, it was a mixture of a lot of stuff, um, but always fun to, you know, have some diversity in the updates. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it, uh, let me know what you think guys, what were your favorites in the stack, did you discover something new, let me know in the comment section down below. I will leave links in the description to the albums, so you can check them all out um, and, if it's, and listen to it and see if it's, it's something for you um, to uh, explore. Um, nothing more, nothing less, if you like what you saw, just hit the subscribe button and put on the little bells you get all the updates on my channel um, nothing more to say so I'm gonna leave you here um, also check out Chamber of Unlight if you are a black metal fan good stuff um, hope to see you guys next video next time cheers and have a great day guys